welcome to this season preview edition of Tornado Watch. I'm here with men's volleyball head coach Ryan Boer as they're ready to take off to Hawaii and kick off their season. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, last year had a great, uh, a great year per se. School record wins, 15, qualified for the conference tournament as a fifth seed. Uh, came up just short in the, in the conference tournament there in the quarterfinals. How, is the, how do you improve on that and, and build on that season this year? Um, well, I mean, we had a great year last year, and uh, looking forward to this year. We've brought in uh, some new guys to sort of, you know, give us some more fire in there, and we just got to keep improving every day. Um, we we did set we accomplished a lot of goals last year, and now we're going to reset our goals and try to achieve even better than what we did last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that started in the fall with practice and, and a few uh, exhibition scrimmages um, with uh, with other schools, um, and then came back early here right after Christmas to get ready for for the season to start here this week. How the team look? How are you feeling going into the opening, opening matches this weekend? Um, I really got a great team uh, attitude-wise. They, they all want to work hard and do better. Um, we're going to be playing a lot of young players and seeing a lot of people getting experience just sort of trying to find what's going to work this year. But uh, uh, I think we're going to be exciting and, uh, and, and fun to watch as well as uh, very competitive. Yeah, you had a couple, uh, quite a bit of firepower coming back. Eddie Mushikian um, has made some uh, national lose here early in the in the preseason on some lists, um, and then Sprayberry complimented him, Jeff Sprayberry, and, and a couple other guys outside. How's that group looking, and how you like those two leading that that group? Actually, really well. Um, Eddie is actually dealing with some injuries, so he's mm -hmm. going to be taking some time off. Um, Sprayberry is going to have to step up and be a leader in that position, and we we're look we've moved Adrian Besson one of our middles to outside, and he's really steadily improving, learning the position, and I think it's a natural move for him to okay. be in that position. So. Okay, that's looking, that looks like a good, uh, I guess, transition, but yep. still have some firepower out there. And then in the middle, I was going to go with Besson, but Matthew Leitchock, lone senior on the team in the middle. Other than that, maybe a little bit young, but how you look at your lone senior in Leitchock, uh, lead that group and just to lead the team here? Yeah, Matt, has, he's, a, he's a steady player. He doesn't uh, over show too much emotion, and he doesn't ever get negative emotion. Um, he's, he's a great leader in that aspect, and he, he's really consistent. And he's, uh, he's taken over that leadership role on this team with uh, some of the other guys. But uh, uh, he, it's going to be great to have him to depend on in the middle. And as far as blocking, he does a really good job. As a coach, how does that help you have a senior leader like that to just kind of rely on for some of the things day in and day out? Uh, it's great because, you know, just the little things of making sure everybody's on time or making sure what they're wearing and stuff like that, he takes care of that I don't have mm -hmm. to worry about. And he does a good job as well as our other captains, Drucker and Sprayberry and even Eddie, just making sure everything's running smoothly. Yeah, and you can have all these horses up front, uh, hitters and everything, but it only goes as far as your setter is going to take you for the most part. Um, and you got a good one coming back, Conference Carolina's freshman of the year, Nick Drucker, uh, also on some uh, early watch list nationally. Talk about what he means to the team and how that's going to help the offense go. Yeah, I think in the game of volleyball, the, the setter is probably the most important position player just because of they, they touch the ball every play. They have to touch the ball, it seems like, or you hope they do. <laughs> um, but uh, Nick's a, a fiery competitor. Um, he, he, he runs our offense. Uh, he's a very smart volleyball player. And, uh, you know, with him and Eddie and uh, um, Chandler getting accolades, I think they're well-deserved. Um, and, you know, I think that he's even got more growth to come. So I think he's going to keep improving. And I guess the key is getting that ball to the setter, as you mentioned. And you mentioned Chandler Wellman. Great year last year, top five in digs in Conference Carolina. It's up there in the school, school list as well at, at King. How does that start the offense in the back row and just having an anchor like that in the back row? Yeah, as I say, I mean, in the game, the, the passing is key. Um, so I stress that to all the guys. And Chandler runs our back row. Uh, I give him full authority. He runs the back row. And we have a great complement uh, of, of people back there. But Chandler does a good job. He's very talkative and, and gets out there and takes a leadership role in that back, in that back line. And, and then I've got Jimmy Knuckles and Nathan Vila back there also mm -hmm. to, to help you know, steady the course in case Chandler's having an off night, they can come in and do the job, and they're pushing him to make him better. Yeah, and now looking more specifically this weekend, season starts Thursday night, uh, 7 p.m. out in Hawaii, which is midnight here <laughs> back on the East Coast. Be a late one. Uh, play Hawaii out there, play Lewis, and then Harvard on Sunday. Talk about the expectations going into that and just the excitement from the guys going on this trip. Uh, it's, it's a, I, we were just talking to another coach, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Um, looking forward to, you know, seeing Hawaii and the beauty of the island and everything. But also it's a business trip, too, because Hawaii is preseason number seven. Lewis is preseason number eight in the country. So it's going to be some really tough competition. I want us to go out there and compete well, 
try to win. If we win, that's great. But I want us to, to try to improve because it it's sort of the early preseason matches for us and try to get better and, and find ourselves while we're in Hawaii. And how does playing that competition early kind of set the bar to, to where you want to get to? Oh, I mean, it's, you're playing top-level competition. Uh, all three teams are solid teams. And really, in, in the national scale of things, they're, they're in the, I mean, you got two in the top ten. Yeah. And Harvard's a, a solid team as well. But, uh, I mean, it's just going to make us better when we come back to conference playing that level of competition. Yeah, that's uh, Thursday against uh, Hawaii, Friday against Lewis, and then uh, Sunday evening against Harvard. Uh, the live stats will be on kingtornado.com if you want to follow along. Uh, thanks for joining us, and good luck this weekend. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.